All right, welcome to our viewers in the United States and all around the world. This is New Day. It's Thursday, February 21st, 6 o'clock here in New York, and we have a ton of breaking news this morning in just hours. There's a lot more news. There's a big development in Robert Mueller's investigation. Sources tell CNN the report could be handed over to Attorney General Bill Barr as early as next week. The filing of this highly anticipated report may ignite new controversy over how much of it Congress and the American public gets to see. So we have so much to cover for you this morning. Let's be President Trump refusing to allow an Alabama woman who traveled to Syria to join ISIS to return to the United States. The president says that he instructed Secretary of State Mike Pompeo to block Hoda Muthana from returning to the U.S. Okay, it's time for CNN Business Now. Are the worries about higher interest rates over, at least for now? Chief, this big story, Michael Cohen will testify in public next week before the House Oversight Committee. The president's longtime lawyer, now a convicted felon, canceled an earlier appearance citing safety concerns. A judge has now granted Cohen a two-month delay to surrender for his three-year prison term. Ryan, now to talk about it is John Avon. He's our... What Michael Cohen, what they want to talk to him about, all the financial disclosures. Here's what Elijah Cummings, the chairman, says they don't want to talk to him about. The scope of the Oversight Committee's open public hearing will not include... What do you see here and what's going to happen? Look, next week? that's a... What makes us think he's going to show up next week since he canceled? I mean, everybody thought he was going to show up for February 7th until he canceled it, and he says under threat of intimidation from Rudy Giuliani, the president's attorney, and the president. Well, in part because... Interesting that he himself tweeted that I look forward to telling the American people my story, hashtag truth. Hashtag truth. This is the... Uh... The fact that the judge has postponed him having to report to prison from March 6th to now May 6th, you know, I just wonder if he thinks that maybe he's going to somehow dodge it altogether or if he thinks that he can postpone it indefinitely. I, I, I think that game doesn't... For cooperating like he is, for publicly testifying to everything he knows. And that's one of the weird... What are you looking forward to hearing from Michael Cohen? What still needs to be answered? I think... Directed him to make those payments. That's one of the... Key... Oh. Thanks, Alex. John. All right, Allison. CNN has learned that Attorney General Bill Barr is preparing to announce the completion of the special counsel investigation as early as next week. Barr will then submit his own summary of the Mueller report to Congress. During his confirmation hearing, Senator Richard Blumenthal asked Barr what lawmakers can expect to see in that report. Joining us now is Senator Richard Blumenthal. Studio. Were you satisfied with that response? Nowhere near satisfied. Against it, too much being revealed. You know, derogatory information about other people can't be revealed. I mean, they're really trying to contain the vast scope of the Ken Starr report that really, you know, was 2,700 pages really necessary for the American public to read. So they're trying to contain it, and there are regulations. So he's within the letter of the law in not releasing much. There it does give you a thumbnail sketch that you don't think is comprehensive enough. There'll be subpoenas from Congress. Uh, Robert Mueller, can your reporting is that the uh, Mueller report could come as early as next week? Is that what you were hearing? Only to buckle in, because it's going to be a wild ride, Mr. Bar Another stunning bit of news that we have this morning, and that is this mass murder plot by an active U.S. Coast Guard who who he had stockpiled an arsenal. We have a picture of some of the things that he had. Was imagine if they hadn't caught him, if they hadn't done such great police work what might have happened. But I must say I'm a tad troubled that you had to hear it on the news. Shouldn't the FBI have told you that you were, well, you know, one of his targeted threats? I think that the FBI... Met. And we're grateful for you being here. Senator thank Richard you. Blumenthal, thanks so much for all of the information. Thank you. John. Right, new to see...